Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to create multiple product pages in Shopify. Once on your Shopify admin page, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and select online store. Then you are going to select pages from the drop down menu option. Next you are going to tap on add page in the top right hand corner. Then you are going to see the title and from here you can add your product page or you can add the title. For this example, I'll simply type in product 1. After doing that, you are going to scroll down and you are going to select save. Once you have saved this page, what I want you to do next is tap on duplicate in the top right hand corner right here. Then you are going to tap on duplicate. After you have duplicated it, you are going to clear copy off and you can add the second title. For this example, I'll put product 2. Then you are going to tap on save. Now that we have created both product pages or you can create 3 or 4, any amount that you want. The next thing you are going to do is simply select themes as we are now going to edit these product pages that we have created. So you are going to select themes, then you are going to tap on customize. After selecting customize, we will be led to this page. And from here, we are going to tap on home page at the top. Then we are going to select pages. And then we are going to tap on default page. And you can see right here, we are now on product 2. So to edit this, all you have to do right now, if you would like to add featured products or so on, all you'll have to do right where you see template on the left hand menu option, you are going to tap on add section. And let's say we want to add a featured product or a featured collection. You can do that by simply tapping on featured collection right here. And you can see that the featured collection has been added. And by the way, to create a featured collection is quite easy. Let me show you how to do that. So first, I'll simply tap on save right here in the top right hand corner. Then let's exit out of this. To create a featured collection, all you have to do is tap on products in the top left hand corner. Then after doing that, from here, you can select collections. After selecting collections, what I want you to do next is tap on create collection in the top right hand corner. After you have selected create collection, you can add the title. So I'll simply type in something real quick. And here you could add a description if you want. And you can also add a collection image that would be the featured image that will be added. And you can see right here, add products manually. That means that you would go in and select each product or you can select automated. After selecting automated, what I want you to do next is simply scroll down. And from here, you will see conditions. This means that what does the product have to feature or so on to be added to the collection. So for example, product tag is equal to, and you can put the information right here. So for example, is equal to, or you could change product tag and simply type in product category, or you can select product vendor. So that means that a, once a product has similar vendors, it will be added to a collection. Or you can add products to a collection via the price. So you could simply tap on price. Then you will see the collection will include all products with at least one variant that matches the price. And from here, you could simply add in, let's say, $20. Then you'll see add another condition. You can add another condition right here if you want. Once you're finished, you can simply tap on save. Enter some text for product price is greater than other. So right here, I'll simply add right there. Then select save. And you can see right there. Now, if you wanted to add it manually, let me show you how to do that also. So I'll show you how to do it both ways. So let's say you want to add a collection manually. 
Once on the collection page, all you'll simply do is tap on create collection in the top right hand corner. Then I'll simply title this example. So I'll type in example, you could add your title. Then you are going to select manual below collection type. After selecting manual, I want you to tap on save. Once you have saved it, you will be led to this page. And from here, you are going to simply scroll down. Then you will see products and you are going to tap on browse. And from here, you can select the products that you would like to add to this collection. Then you are going to tap on add. After you have done that, all I want you to do now is right where you see oh, it is automatically saved. So that means it's good. So now we can simply tap on view to preview it. And you can see right here an example of the collection. So what we are going to do next is go back to our main page that we, was, we were editing. So to find the main page, all we have to do is tap on online store again. Then we are going to select themes and then we are going to tap on customize. Now that we have done that, we are going to tap on home page at the top, then find pages. Then after finding pages, we are going to tap on default page. And from here, you can see product tool. And remember that we had added the featured collection. And by the way, as I was saying earlier, you can add more features by simply going over to template. Then you could tap on add section. And if you wanted to add an image, you could simply tap on image with text and you would be able to add it. You can also add image banner. You can add sliders. There are numerous options and you could tap on show more. And from here, you will see a list of other features that you can add to your product page. You can also edit the footer section by simply selecting footer. And after selecting footer, as you can see right here, from here, if you would like to delete a particular section, you can. All you have to do is select the footer section, then you can scroll down and right where you see so show social media. If you would like to hide that, you can untick it. And also right where you see, scroll down, show payment icons. If you would like to remove that or add it, you can simply untick or tick it. If you would like to show policy links, you can tap on show policy links and it will show them right there. So there are numerous editing options you can use. Once it is to your liking, all you have to do is simply select save in the top right hand corner. Now that we have created our product pages, what I want you to do next is go back into your admin settings as you can see right here. Then from here, you are going to tap on online store in the left hand menu option. And we are going to select navigation. After selecting navigation, what I want you to do next, you are going to see menus and you are going to simply tap on main menu. As we are going to add our product page to the navigation bar at the top. And to do this, all you have to do is tap on add menu item. Then for example, you'll simply type in product. So you could type in product right here to search for the particular page. Then right where you see link, you are going to select pages. Then you could type in product one and you'll tap on add. After doing that, you're going to tap on add menu again. And for this, we'll simply type in example as the title. Then in the link, we are going to select pages and we're going to select product two. Now that we have added both page, let's tap on add again. Now that we have added both pages, we want to move them up. So we, all you'll have to do right where you see the six dots, you're going to tap on that. Then you'll simply drag it to the top right there. Then you'll simply tap on example and you'll drag it to the top also right below that one. After you have done that, you're going to simply tap on save in the top right hand corner. Now that we have saved it, all you have to do now is go back and you will simply select the eye right beside online store. <coughs> Excuse me. And now if you should select home, 
you'll see a drop down menu then you will see the two both product pages and if you wanted to remove catalog and contact you can do that in the navigation as i showed you earlier hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe